What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Fritz Jones Investing, back with another video. And today, I wanted to talk about five financial goals that I have for 2020. 2020 is about two weeks away, so I wanted to make sure that I had a plan in place so that way when January 1st rolls around, I'll be ready to roll and be ready to take action on my goals. What are some of your financial goals? Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. With all that said, let's jump right into the video. My first goal for 2020 is to pay off all of my debt. Right now, I have three accounts that I owe debt to. My first is my credit card debt. I want to make sure I pay that off because that has the highest interest rate. Right now, my APR is 28%. Right now, I owe $1,100 worth of credit card debt. I've been buying lots of Christmas presents, things of that nature for the family. So I want to make sure I get that debt paid off first. My second is my student loan payments. Right now, my payment is only $100 per month. I owe $9,000 worth of student loan debt. So I usually been paying about five to $600 per month to hurry up and get rid of that loan. My last is my car payment. Right now, my car payment is about $350 per month. I owe about $3,700 left, so I want to make sure I double up or triple up on those payments to hurry up and pay off that debt so I can be debt-free by the end of the year, and I can use that money to further my financial ventures, invest, contribute to my Roth IRA, so I can make the maximum amount of passive income when I retire. Right now, I'm using the Vanguard Investment App to contribute to my Roth IRA. I feel like this is the best app for me because it has the lowest expense ratio for the stocks that I'm buying. I would admonish you to kind of shop around, look at all the different brokerages and compare them to find out what's best for you. My second goal for 2020 is to continue to increase the amount that's in my stock investment portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth about $10,500 and I would like to see this amount grow to around $25,000 by the end of 2020. Right now I'm using the Robinhood app. It allows me to buy and sell stocks commission free and it's also very easy to use. Now Robinhood does not sponsor me or this video, but I just love to use the app for its ease of use. In the future, the app is going to include a feature that allows you to buy fractional shares for as little as a dollar. So you can buy more expensive stocks like Berkshire Hathaway, Amazon, and Google for as little as a dollar in fractional shares. I feel like right now is the best time to invest in the stock market. The stock market is at an all-time high and it's very easy to buy and sell stocks. Now, obviously do your own research because I don't want you to lose your hard-earned money, but it is something that is going to allow you to make passive income in your future. My third goal for 2020 is to contribute the maximum amount of $6,000 towards my Roth IRA. Now, if you don't know what a Roth IRA is, it's an investment vehicle that allows you to use money that you've already paid taxes on and purchase stocks, bonds, and ETFs inside of a portfolio. Now, you can withdraw that money when you're 59 and a half tax-free, plus any kind of capital appreciation and dividends that you've received from all those investments. I feel like it's the proper choice for me. But I would admonish you to talk to a CPA or a tax attorney or a tax professional before you make that choice to kind of realize the pros and cons and weigh your options. Now, right now, you can contribute a maximum amount of $6,000 per year. Right now, I've only contributed around $1,200 this year because I've used that money to contribute to my Robinhood um, stock portfolio and also my 403B. So next year, I want to make sure I contribute the maximum amount that I can. My fourth goal for 2020 is to contribute to the less fortunate. I feel like I didn't really do a good job this year of contributing to the less fortunate, um, giving canned goods, giving money towards charities, things of that nature. But I want to do a much better job of that in the year 2020. And I looked at the billionaires like um, Bill Gates and I found out that they contributed billions of dollars towards charities and giving away money to help out the less fortunate. And if he can do that with all of his money, then I can do that with some of my money to kind of help make the world a better place. Now, I don't mean to get all biblical or spiritual on you, but it does say in the Bible that it is better to give than to receive. But there's also a scientific component as well. There's a chemical release in your brain when you do good and do well for others. It's called dopamine and it's a feel good hormone. So I just feel like if I can do my part, I can make the world a better place. And if more people did that, then the world would be a much better place because the less fortunate would need as much because they receive it from us. My fifth goal for 2020 is to increase the amount that's in my emergency fund. Right now I have about $1,200 in my emergency fund, but I feel like if something were to go wrong with my car, or if I accidentally got injured at work, or if something went wrong with the house, that I would need more than that $1,200 to get that fixed. So hopefully by the end of 2020, I'll be able to increase that amount to around three to $4,000. Now, according to a survey by Bankrate, 69% of Americans had less than $1,000 in their savings account, and 34% had no savings at all, which is kind of scary. 
So I wanna make sure I increase that amount so I don't have to go into debt to be able to pay for expenses that I might incur from accidents or random things that can happen. And I wanna be prepared for that. So that concludes the video for today. Those were my five financial goals for 2020. What are some of your financial goals for the new year? I feel like it's never too early to start planning for next year. So that way when January 1st rolls around, you can hit the ground running. As always, please don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe to my channel. With all that said, I'm wishing you a happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope you have a restful time with your family. I'll catch you next time.